that's a triple play. New episodes of Kenway. Open your yeah. Open your mind at the first gate. Press play, no need to debate. AOA, check me out. Yeah. Plugged in, you can catch the hype. Golden Dawn, how we follow the light. Anime like life, uh, married to it, my wife. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages? Welcome back to the AOA show. I'm your host, as always, Ian, along with my boys, Isaiah. Yo, yo, yo. And Gavin. Was goody with it. And today we're here to talk about our thoughts and opinions, a deep dive analysis on The God of High School, episode 13, the final episode, God slash God. Um, so, right off the rip, I was like, okay, actually, well, no, never mind. Yeah, right off the rip, I was like, I was telling these guys before we got into... Um, we were just reacting to it at the time of recording. And I was like, all right, we know that this show is uh, taking us through the ringer, figuratively and literally, and that we haven't been entirely happy about it, as you guys may have known. But something that we generally will praise week by week is that, damn, can they put on a fight? And I said, I was like, okay, as long as this episode understands, because they already rocked us all around if they can triple quadruple quintuple down on their strength of putting on a great fight with the soundtrack the choreograph uh the choreograph moves the animation etc the sound effects whatever i'm like i think i'm in this and i'm not gonna lie the first half of the episode I I was personally pleased with the fight. I don't think it was the best fight they've had in the series, but I thought it was I was I was invested. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, okay, you know what? I didn't care from the beginning, whatever. Um I can't remember the part specifically, but you're like Gavin, you were like, Okay, I'm interested. I can't remember what happened specifically, but there was like some sort of point, and I guess it maybe it was mm -hmm. when Mori had his awakening or whatever, when it was like, Okay, now it's about to go down. And I was thoroughly pleased personally with the uh with that with that fight and then we'll get into more of the episode and how they actually explain some stuff <laughs> this time they just they they waited they waited until the very end and where we're going from there and i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts on the episode but before we continue make sure if you guys like the content today that you were liking subscribing hitting that notification bell sharing with your friends and commenting your thoughts down below what did you think of our discussion what did you think about this episode in particular and what are your thoughts on god of high school as a whole do you think they missed the mark or do you think it was good also, in our description, we do have links to our Discord, our Patreon, if you want to support the channel directly, to our social media as well, if you want to keep up to date with us personally or the show at large. You can also listen to us on our audio-only platforms like Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and all the other ones that you could think of as well. And we do have our merch as well in the description there if you want to rep some awesome AOA swag. We'd be uh, really happy to have you guys Rep some AOA swag. Yeah, so, so you should definitely check it out. We got everything from mugs to leggings to pillows to shirts to fanny packs. It's all there. So definitely go check that out. But anyway, getting back into the discussion here, Gavin, hit me. What were your overall impressions of the episode? Mm -hmm. As not as, you know, unbiased as you could possibly be. No, I know, actually, objectively. I did like probably up until three fourths of the episode in its entirety. The fight agree. was yeah. cool. I actually liked the information that they were giving you with the fight and, you know, kind of little flashbacks, giving you some information as it was going along, like it should have from the fucking beginning. <laughs> but either way, I, I did appreciate that, and it did actually build the fight up in the suspense on what was going on. Obviously, when Mori awakened, and then you realize, you're like, oh my God, he's a living God. And, you know, like that explanation as the episode is going on is what we needed throughout the entirety of it. However, for this episode specifically, I did like how they finally gave that to us and it made it so we can actually fucking understand what was happening. And like that, and that's really it. Like most of the, the majority of the show was obviously the fighting, the shit that goes down, all of that, like turbulence. And it was cool that the animation was amazing, especially Ian. I know was going to gush over it. The, um, the camera angle that they did, which was really, really cool. interesting. I it's really like, like that. Like a 360, like yeah. kind of design as they were flowing through. That was awesome. I really never seen anything like that, you yeah, know, yeah. and it really like just added a whole nother layer onto the fight and like visually it looks pleasing. It was awesome. And I thought they executed it well. Um, so yeah, I think I'll leave it off there because I think I'm not the only one in the later half of the episode in terms of when they started dropping some information that it kind of was getting a little muddled again. Sure, yeah. But um, I'll pass it off to Isaiah and see what give his positive remarks. Yeah, first impressions. Um, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't y'all knew it was coming. Oh, y'all knew it was coming. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It looked really good. Mm-hmm. It did. <laughs> I just want to preference that. Um, but I don't know, man. Like, so this moment when uh, Jiggle is, you know, he's fucking up Mira and, and Dawi and, and Mori and everything, and he's talking about how he's God and he's gonna, you know, d- uh, destroy the world or control everybody or whatever the fuck, and. Um, and he stabs Dawi in the, or, or he goes to stab Mori and, uh, mm-hmm. Dawi like shields him with his body. Correct. Yeah. And it was like this moment that like I knew should have hit hard or it should have felt like it mattered. But immediately when it happened, I'm like, that nigga's fine. He's not hurt. Mori's going to unlock his thing and heal him. Yeah. What happened? Mori unlocked his thing and immediately took the spear out of Dawi <laughs> and then p- proceeded to immediately fuck up. Jin. And it was like. Yeah, yeah. Dog, I just don't care. I just don't feel any, like, it, the fight looked really dope, but I just don't give a fuck about, like, <laughs> why anybody's fighting. And so it just turns into, like, Spider-Man cool dude swinging around with flashy lights, and I, mm-hmm. I lose, like, a sense of, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm like, I don't feel like anybody's in any danger except for the enemy because he has to lose <laughs> at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and to right. be fair, yes. when he simultaneously gets hit with three lightning bolts, it's like... Yeah. All right, but like I, I don't know. I just I wasn't in it. I wasn't but in it. But I actually, that's an interesting point because I think what also really kind of drives that home is the fact that they went through this major fight on the thirteenth episode. And the bad thing when you do this is that naturally you know the series isn't thirteen episodes. There has to be more. So it's like I, I kind of think of it almost like Sword Art, where you know the main characters are going to be indestructible no matter what plot point they throw at you. There's going to be a reverse Uno card in there somewhere. And when you have a fight to this severity that they're trying to imply on the thirteenth episode, like you just you already see through it and you know how it's going to end, especially when like not going to lie, the enemy has a very generic like meaning for everything that he's doing. It's like you know how it's going to play <laughs> you mean out. The lack thereof, and, and the lack thereof. <laughs> like, like you know how it's going to play out, and that's why I really was watching this episode without that mindset. It was more just for like the aesthetic, just pleasure of it, you know, yeah. because like. You really can't, like, you're not grasping at straws for anything. You know what's just going to happen. I I said it from the start. I was like, listen, we've all, like, I just said it before, you know, not sound like a broken record, but it's like, we've already been jerked around, you know, for, I would say from like episode six on, um, maybe seven. And in my personal opinion, and, um, you know, I was like, okay, we're already beaten and tattered. We're bruised. We're scarred. Okay. Like we already kind of have these opinions, but like I said, I'm like, I already know, like, I'm going to step aside with that BS. You know what I mean? I'm probably not going to feel for anyone if there's, like, any semblance of danger because, like, all the players are probably still there. All the pieces are still on the chessboard. All those kind of things. I was like, I really kind of don't care about the plot, although it would, at least anime terms, I'm like, it would be nice if they explained some stuff, which they did. I I will say they came through slightly on that, which I was very appreciative of. Mm -hmm. Took them long enough. But I was like, again, I was like, Okay, I know what I'm here for. So long as they can just do the thing that they've been doing well, well, you know, then it's like I will, yeah. I'm willing to go into this not swinging. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm willing to come and have an open mind and a conversation. And to be fair, I do feel that this episode, I feel like we've just been had a bad taste in our mouth from some of the prior ones. But I do feel like if I took this episode out objectively um, and compared it to like as a one for one with some of the other episodes, I actually did like this episode a lot. Like if, if, if an episode was like, if an episode like this, the, the initial episodes reminded me of this one. Cause uh, again, I'm not gonna lie. I re I actually really liked the show up until roughly episode six is when I started to have my doubts and then it got worse from there. But like, this was an episode that if I'm looking at it objectively on a one V like a one B one V one beat, it explained enough for me in the episodes. The fights were great. You know what I mean? And, like, I felt like, you know, like, the points that needed to hit hit pretty hard minus the plot armor, um, my opinion. You know, so, like, I think looking at it like that, I think my bias, you know, it's hard to get past. And, I mean, anyone's justified if they have it of some of the prior episodes kind of gets you, like, goes into this one where it's, like, you're incredibly skeptical. So, like, any little thing that they do wrong, you know, it's hard to not look at it and scrutinize it with this, like, incredibly critical eye. But like I said, I thought they delivered on the fight, at least. I thought the middle of the episode, again, was getting into this, like, total, like, like rush haziness BS. You know what I mean? Where it was, like, okay, completely predictable. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, thing, is like, again, we got about halfway through, and, like, 
this show has just been doing it every episode where like you get this feeling that like all of a sudden we kick the fucking like we just hit the gas and we kick it up to like 120 miles and we just start moving through plot and and shit it's like because you you just get this sense, at least i did that like in this episode, in this 22 minutes, like, we have to get from A to B. I mm-hmm. don't care how fast mm-hmm. it, we do it. I don't care what we jump over to get there. We just have to do it. But in doing that, you skip over, in my opinion, like, th- giving the audience, the viewers, something to be invested about as to why we're do- we're going anywhere we're going or why we have to get or why I should care. You know what I mean? And so we got about halfway through. And, again, th- as soon as I felt that, like, very familiar presence of, like, oh, boy, here we are, like, we're getting pushed, you know, <laughs> fucking, Yeah. <laughs> It's like, (laughs) yeah, exactly. (laughs) Literally like light speed. And like, I'm just like, okay. Cause I, I gotta be honest, man. Even if this episode was perfect, it's like to have 12 episodes of what I just consider a very poor adaptation. I mean, this episode could have been panel for panel. And it like, we, cause we've we've missed too much in my, we missed too much to where it's like, we can't cover this up with a bandaid. It's not just going to like get better. Even if this episode was perfect, which I personally don't feel it was. Um, again, I think visually it's very it's a it was very well done. Um, some of these fights were some of the, some of the moments I, I will say in the fights were probably the dopest of the um, of the season. Um, but I just like again like coming in after the twelve episodes that I've been on, it's like I'm just I was I was already out from the start, and it's like you know you could call it bias, but it's like I, that's that was that that's the show you know what i mean they had 12 episodes before this to do to get me invested and i just it didn't work they no. moved so fast mm-hmm. that the pacing yeah. got fucked up to a point where i was like again i i feel like if though regardless whether i know i call back to the dowie moment because it was like way too textbook for me i'm like all right this is where what are we doing like we're done here it's like even if i know he's he's gonna live like i should have I literally, when we filmed the reaction video, like, was motion. I, I should give a fuck. Like, Dawi's a cool character. And I know this because we started reading the manhwa. Like, you know what I mean? I know mm-hmm. that these characters, I know there's more there. And I'm just, I guess I'm a, I'm upset now, having started the manhwa, how much of the character is is taken out in the anime to, like, expedite the process and to get all the way to this god stuff. Mm-hmm. That it's like, dude, you left out the most important part to me, which is the characters. I, I want to, you know... Niggas throwing around god weapons and slapping each other silly and shit is all cool, but like any anime could do any anime with a well enough budget could put on a good spectacle of a fight. Like literally. I mean, and there are ones that do this exact same thing. But if I don't like if I don't want to if I don't care about the people fighting, what is the point of them fighting? No, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, we've said it a million times, but you know, having weight behind the fight with with the exposition or whatever you want to call it, um, and the story driven elements definitely adds an added punch, no pun intended, to the fight and a weight to it when it does happen so that if there is a point where Dewey gets hit with said spear, you know what I mean? It, like, it hits harder because mm-hmm. you you understand where he's coming from and, like, the relationships being built. And it sucks because it kind of reminds me of, like, a Transformers thing where it's like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, okay, we have a choice here. What are we going to double down on? Like, we only have right. X amount of time to cover. Are we going to double down on this or this? And to be fair, all things considered, I'm not going to lie, if I was in their shoes and you go and you tell me, you go, okay, we're going to give you the god of high school to adapt. Thing is, you got 13 episodes to do it, and you could only, obviously this is a huge hypothetical, but I'm stating, you know, I'm getting to my point. You only have the ability to either go ham on the fights and the the aesthetics and stuff like that, or you have the ability to go ham on the plot. Now, obviously, the, the argument in hindsight here is like, well, why not split it down the middle? Which, you know, obviously I would like to do. But like, you know, I guess in the the meeting room, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And Mm -hmm. like, they look at this thing and they go, what is this Manwa known for? You know what I mean? At least this is what I'm just speculating. And it's like, okay, this Man was known for its, it's, it's fighting. It's incredible aesthetics. You know what I mean? Like the, the awesome choreograph moves, all that kind of stuff. You know, not many people are probably in for like the, like the plot anyway. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like a dragon ball type thing. Like at least it might be a little split. Um, what do we double down on here? You know what I mean? And it's like, we have the funds, we double down on this. And again, like I'm saying, hindsight's twenty twenty, And obviously I think they made not the best decisions in the end result. Um, you know, clearly, uh, because we're not, you know, in the minority here, but I, I guess my point is that I could see why the decisions a bit wrong were made because it was like, okay, you have this much, you got to go ham on this. What do you do? And it's like, I don't know. It seems, it seems kind of tough. It seems like a tough scenario. I feel like at this point they should know that plot always wins. And I feel like that's kind of like for any show. And for some reason, the, uh, like an example specifically that just reminds me of is Ruby. And like, 
I'm not gonna lie. If you like, I've watched I think three seasons of Ruby when way back in the day, and I remember when I first watched the first episode, the animation was hot fucking garbage, and yeah. I mean hot fucking <laughs> garbage. And if anybody watched it, they'll know. Even Isaiah will agree with me. Literal dog shit. But like the story was so good that like even when season two and they were making those little incremental like incremental upgrades, it didn't matter. Like you just got so used to it that it doesn't care because that plot transcends what you're visually looking at. And I feel like just as popular as that grows, but like for any show, like at the end of the day, I would like to think that most people care more on how the story carries itself and especially with engaging the audience and just the flow of the actual story. And in that, if it's done well enough and executed properly, which we know that they have the material to do so because just off of reading the little bit of the manhwa that we did, it is there. If you just double down on that and execute that somewhat properly, you're going to have way more, like a lot more people invested in this show as a whole compared to what they wind up doing. And that like the catch 22, you it's know like, what I think it is too. Cause you bring up, you bring up a good point, And I, and I would agree with you on a lot of points. I think that because they are limited, it's like they, they have to sacrifice the potential future for the short term. At least this is the way I look at it, right? And trying to put myself in the mind of the people that do this. Because this isn't, you know, the first show to, mm -hmm. you know, commit this offense and it won't be the last. And it's like, there is something to be said that plot always wins. But I feel like plot, plot's like the tortoise, whereas like aesthetics is the hare. You know what I mean? In the story, right? Where it's yeah. like, out of the gate, you need something to, you know, think of like a YouTube thumbnail or like, you know, what we even do in the beginning of the episodes where we put a clip and it's like, this is what's pulling you in, mm -hmm. right? And I think for like short, shorter form, there is something to be said where, you know, obviously marrying the two is the best scenario, but that I can see, I can see the incentive for them to lean a little into one camp or the other because there's also something to be said, and again, where and again, like I share your opinion, so I'm not, yeah, you know, but like, say they only adapted up to because they only have 13 episodes to work with, and they only mm -hmm. adapt up to like, uh, I don't know, where could they even go, like middle, like uh, the initial God of High School one before they go yeah. into teams, you know, something like that, you know, because to be honest, that would make way like mm -hmm. if we're trying to get all the plot, that's actually probably realistically where they'd have to end it, right? Yeah, there might be something to be said that like they're. And I don't necessarily agree with the statement I'm about to make, which makes this ironic, but there might be something to be said that there are a good amount of people out there that actually don't really care about like the manhwa and the story and all that stuff, because like that might've just not done it for them. And I don't, again, I'm putting myself in their mind, like where, where they might be thinking. Um, so like there might be, you know, this caveat of like, okay, maybe there's things that like we have to get to, we feels if we want to get to a certain point to, to like let people know that it's like, mm -hmm. hey, this anime is way more than this. So like, I don't know. I, well, I think I'm just trying I think to provide no, excuses. Well, well, that, but like, that mindset isn't wrong because there are people yeah. who do like this anime and the adaptation of it. The mm -hmm. way that I feel, like even with the way you explained it, it very much just sounds like it's a sellout. Like they're literally just doing it to milk it, to get some money, to move on to the next project agree. or the next yeah. thing. And I feel like that's just what gets portrayed to every other viewer who isn't about it just for what they delivered on. And what, from what, what we know did. about people who, who have read the manhwa, like we know, we know that that's not true. We know that the reason they like God of high school is because of the story and because mm -hmm. of the characters. So to me for it, like I'm, I'm sure that's what they thought, but like that doesn't make sense to me or I would imagine honestly like the logical person. Cause it's like, if you know the reason people care about the story how in any scenario does cutting that one thing out get you to a track where people yeah. well, people are going to like the people thing you put out? do people are and again I'm not I agree with you but like I uh, there's something to be said to the fact that people do not have incredibly long attention spans you know what I mean like they're in and they're out like that think about in true. what we do if yeah, you don't like, like someone yeah. in the you first ten seconds you know what I mean like they're gone so like if you're if you're trying to make this as like a supplement and advertisement to the manhwa, although I think it's more than that, again, I think there is something to be said about there potentially being too much plot elements to it and too much exposition and too much story. Because like, I'm trying to think of it now that we've started reading the manhwa, right? Mm -hmm. Where we just, we did to chapter 19. And like, I'm trying to look at like, okay, where did they end this on the episodes, right? And like all that kind of stuff. And, wh and where could they have ended in here and stuff? And again, 13 episodes, you know what I mean? Like, put it this way, something has to be cut. Oh, Has yeah. to be, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, so I guess some of the plot gets, 
cut along with that, but also it's like, okay, you know, well, do we want to put as much plot as possible? And if we do, that means we kind of have to cut back on the potential of like this many fights and all that kind of stuff. So like, I don't know. I think people, there are people out there, a lot of people, which is why I'm assuming they kind of made the decisions that they did that have, you know, that are in it for what, you know, what the anime is purveying. We got dope fights. We got all this stuff. And like, that's why they're on board. And, you know, I think it's just because they literally went so fast with the skipping and skipped so much where again, my, my thoughts lie down the, like the middle path, you know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, <laughs> we definitely could have sacrificed from a aste- some aesthetics for plot, but I don't think, I think there's something to be said that they could have, they, there's a potential in a different world where they could have went too far into plot in my personal opinion, because I think honestly, I didn't need too, too much more in terms of, of plot up until again, like that middle chunk of the show. That's my personal thing. I, again, I was in it pretty, pretty well, like well off. I had like small gripes up until that point. And that's when it was like, all right, we're just going to like hop these arcs, Mm -hmm. um, you know, from there. And that's when it was like, Whoa, pump the brakes, you know? Um, but I mean, yeah, that's my opinion. I guess my point is that like, I don't, I think if they had let like given us 25% more than they did, like I would have liked it that much more, but if they gave us like a hundred percent, you know what I mean? Then they might've taken away from some of the hype, but I don't know. I feel like it's, it's just not, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me, like the way, like thinking about it in that, like not what you're saying, sure, or yeah. like not as you're saying, but like from their perspective, mm-hmm. because it's like, again, it, it doesn't make sense to me that there's the, I, I really do think at the end of the day, like it was just greed, you know what I mean? Like from the studios, whether they wanted to make money off of this, you know, popular webtoons, um, Tower of God had just launched, so they were feeling a little bit like, you know what I mean? Like up, mm-hmm. um, because I feel like Tower of God, you know, despite what some people will say, um, was manageable, right? To take the 78 chapters for their season one and make it into an anime, um, again, which they did cut stuff out, but, like, that format of the 13 episodes still worked. Like, in my mind, this was never going to work. There's just too much material in season one of the webtoon to cut down into 13 episodes and make any sort of, like, relative sense out of it. For somebody to watch who hasn't read the manhwa and know anything about what the fuck's going on if they're not explained, you know, yeah. by somebody else. So, to me, it's, like, out the, out the gate, we were already, like, this wasn't going to be good. You know what I mean? I mean, like, in the sense of, like, I could watch it, understand it, and enjoy it. Um, so, that's what tells me it's, like, okay, well, then, in my head, it's, like, well, then we can't. We shouldn't, we shouldn't do this then, right? Like, yeah. a, as the studios, it's like, if we can't make it work in this formula, in this sure. format, we shouldn't work. But obviously, people want to make money, people are yeah. greedy. Yeah, and they're like, like, and if we can skirt it by, you know exactly. what I mean, then we got away with yeah. it hands-free. Yeah. 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 That or they were just really restricted in terms of what they could produce. Like, in terms Maybe. of, like, this is your episode, this is what you have to do. Like, unless they really felt like their hands were behind their yeah, back yeah. and they just didn't have any other option, then... Yeah, it can be tough to know. conclude a season, too. You know what I mean? It's like, if you only have this much, and it's like, we know that the webtoon ends it here, and, like, clearly the reason the webtoon ends it here is because X events have happened in order to get mm-hmm. us to this point. So it's like, then it comes the question, okay, then where do you cut it? And, like, if you cut it too early or preemptively, does it not give the audience enough time, even if you added all that plot, right? Because, like, say they did... Because even God of or, um, Tower of God, there are a lot of people that say that, you know, it was rushed. And, mm. you know, I'm not necessarily fully in that camp, but there were some expedited scenes mm-hmm. or, or episodes, um, to be honest. And that was 76 chapters, something like that. 78. 78. The God of High School, 120. So, like, you think, right? So, if that was even a little much with Tower of God yeah. for some people. So, like, the happy medium is what? Let's just say 60 for argument's sake you're cutting that first season of the manhwa in half, which means that if you want to put all the plot in there in order to not, you know, skip around and stuff like that, I don't know where chapter 60 exactly is in the manhwa, but like, I don't even know if they're done with the, the singles tournament at that point. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a weird. Well, that's what I was saying. It was just not going to work. Like they shot themselves in the foot before the race. It's just not a form, a format that is suited for this kind of, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, corruption. but I guess I guess they had to. Uh, they, I guess they tried. I mean, like you know what I mean. Yeah. It's just that because like moments, again, like Tower of God doesn't follow the Manwa beat for beat, but like I still cared about the characters. Like when we get to the end of this fight here at, in this episode, and um, you know, Jiggle is is you know he got all fucked up and lightning stroke and whatever, <laughs> and he's sitting there getting eaten by that you know that monster thing that's like inside of him. Um, and Il Payo comes out and like reaches his hand out to him and like to you know, recruit him, I guess, yeah, or save yeah, him. Yeah. My first thing was like, dude, why? 
Jiggle's done literally nothing to you or any of your friends and is actually the person that fucked over you and all your friends has given you literally negative zero reasons for you to be like, bro, let's just shake hands and make it even. Yeah, I feel like that's a protagonist energy. You know what I mean? Where it's like, because to be honest, that's not the first time something like that has happened. Like, right, hell, but, half a Naruto is him going after the guy who tried to kill him like eight times. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, all that kind of but stuff. But to be fair, in Naruto, know. niggas did change. Event. Like, there are well, villains that's who what do I'm saying. Ahead. Yeah. What I'm saying is Jiggle not only... He, Il Payo extends his hand, which is like, all right, whatever. That's just him being a protagonist. Jiggle's just like, nah, fuck that. And he goes out, <laughs> middle fingers up, you know, falling back into this thing. Funny. And it's like, lie. what the fuck was the point of that? Of that? Like, why? Well, why did that happen then? Because you the, gain nothing from that interaction. And I no- think that that is directly something that was cut or that didn't make the cut from the Manwa because it is also kind of like a little preemptive thing that they added when they had that fight initially. They definitely have some sort of history, and mm. I don't think it's all just, like, punches and kicks. Like, I think they do have some sort of mutual oh, like, respect yeah, no, between well, that, each other. Oh, yeah, no, that's my point. And, like, is that's that, like, just... What we got in the anime made me feel like, all right, what the fuck is the point of this being here then because I don't care. But that's, like, that's plot. If there's plot in there that you cut, like, that stuff is important yeah. because it would have it would have literally changed that scene for me. It would have made it yeah. something that felt pointless and stupid and shouldn't be there to something that is impactful and heartful yeah. and, like, you know. Because that, yeah, that scene should have been impactful, but we just weren't given that information to make it impactful. And those are just some of the, like, inconsistencies that just happened with the story. But... Yeah. You think that should have been impactful, though? I like, think it should have been like, more than what, what it actually did. In what kind of way? I, well, if we, if we had backstory on their history yeah, and yeah. their interactions... Yeah. Just any, like, any ounce of knowledge, sure. which is in the Manwa, uh-huh. him slapping his hand away would then make that scene impactful. Because I feel like it isn't, like, it isn't all bad. I, I think the yeah, problem yeah, is so, not, so, like, oh, so my fuck. question, my question, though, just out of curiosity, like, so I get that, and I I agree mm-hmm. to an extent, but I wonder in what way they, so, you're looking to be impacted. So for us, we kind of laughed. We were like, ha, ha, like, that, that's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like that really should have been more like, ooh, that's assault in the wounds. Like, I can't believe that actually yeah. just happened. I think you know, the like, thing is you're supposed to, or what I think would work, is if Jiggle's character is a character that you sympathize with by the end of that fight. So that when he's there laying down, you're like, mm-hmm. ah, dude, you really like literally we just finished reading Tower of God chapter 110 uh, a few days ago. And Mr. Flex, terrible, like, you know, he was an antagonist, terrible Spoiler person. Alert. Yeah, but <laughs> that character is good. Like it's a well-written character yeah. and it's because you sympathize with him. Even though I don't agree with anything that character does, I get why he did it. And so when he goes out, it's like, it's bittersweet. You're like, ah, fuck, but like, I get it. When Jigo went out, dude, I literally didn't give a fuck because I don't know <laughs> or care enough about this character to where when he's making this decision, when he's literally offered salvation, he's li- Il Pio is literally reaching his hand out to him and he's like, bro, like, I know this shit went down, but like, I'm, give, I'm, I'm willing to give you another chance. And he's like, fuck it, this is the way I, I was made. And like, you're supposed to be, you that, that you, I don't care, you, you should feel something. You're, I think yeah. you should be like, literally the same reaction we had for Mr. Flex. And, I, and we laughed. We had the opposite reaction, which tells me that that whole scene and subsequently this whole episode was just wrong. It was just done wrong. So my question too, and after this, let's actually talk about the episode. But um, sure so the um, creator, name evades me, of the this manhwa and this story, apparently they were saying this a lot in the beginning when people had initial qualms, and it's like, well, he actually approved this whole thing. What do you think his thoughts were going through this? Because if anyone has a right to say anything, it's the guy who made the story, right? Like, we could come um, and bitch about it all day. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, <laughs> hey, do you think he watched Do you think he watched all of it? Do you think that they're like, here's a anime? sample? Yeah, or, like, do you think they're like, here's the whole enchilada? Like, tell us what you think. I, I, think, he, I, I think he was literally involved in, like, the storyboarding process. Oh, okay, so okay. when they were making it, um, my thing you know, and I haven't like looked into this or or his thoughts or interviews or whatever the fuck, but my thought process is that maybe he thought that the original story is like a little bit too convoluted and that there's a little, there's a lot going on for people to pick up and follow. So he was like, all right, the anime should like really condense things down. And I think he went a lot more for like the generic and the popular options in in a lot of the decisions and making Mm -hmm. choices to change things in these episodes instead of going with his Mm -hmm. original gut, which I ironically feel like is not only better, but like is what makes God of High School probably unique and stand out amongst the plethora of webtoons and stuff Mm -hmm. or manhwa that are out there. Um, Yeah, I really think it was like a weird level of um, of uh, like hesitancy or like, you know, like almost fear that people wouldn't 
vibe with the show, which is again ironic considering where we are. Yeah, uh, I I'd have two things. One is my thoughts, and the other one is the truth on the matter. So my thoughts. <laughs> okay. No, no, I, I actually I do it? like I I do like what Isaiah said, and I think that's the truth. Although, um, and I'd add that. If so, he might have also had this thought where he just knows a little bit too much of the story. So when making it, he knows what happens and what is supposed to happen. So yes, in his mind, it looks good. It portrays everything. However, not looking at it from a viewer's perspective, they're not going to know all the information that he as the creator knows. So he doesn't see that stuff getting like kind of falling through the cracks as we would see because we don't have any like backing for the show. Mm. So thought number one. The truth is that there was a <laughs> translation issue, and they were like, hey, does this look good? And he was like, no, this is crap. <laughs> and, and, and the translator in the room was like, oh, so this is good. Yeah, 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 we're good. And then they just pushed it through, and he didn't even know, and they just locked him in the room. So. The creator was like, tell them that this is not my story. I don't want this shit printed. If it ends up on TV, I'm coming after all of them. And the translator at 3 in the morning was like, like okay. Yeah, print the shit. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> now I just picture all the interviews that he's had. And he's like, hi, how you doing? My name's so-and-so, and I'm the creator of God of High School. And they go the behind the scenes that they literally just have a gun behind the TV. And he has a teleprompter, like, to read off the thing. And they just have his family hostage. <laughs> they're just like, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just like, like, you said, the show's good, right? And he's, like, reading along. And then I really liked how Crunchyroll did this. And they're like, that's good. Work it up. Work it up. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I, well, Not that's. Like Gavin, you came out of left field. I was like expecting <laughs> you to like come, like I know the truth of what happened, like something, and that was really funny. That was <laughs> obviously me. the truth, and definitely you know what happened, a hundred percent. No one can dispute that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I and that's what what kills me, right? Is because if we're if he if there's moments in this story that he's like, all right, you know what? I think like this moment with this character would work better if you did this or this. That's fine. But I'm also kind of a firm believer in like once an artist makes something. Mm -hmm. And like, and they're done, and they've put it out into the world. That like, that thing is no longer solely belongs to them, right? So like, for my what I'm getting to with this is in the manhwa, apparently the fight between Ilpayo and Mori, um, Mori loses that fight in the manhwa, and Mira is actually the one who beats Ilpayo, um, as opposed to the anime where Mori just wins all of his fights. Apparently, that was one. If if that was one of the decisions, let's say that like the creator himself was like saw and approved and was like, yeah, that's good. That doesn't make any sense to me because you were. I think that that Manwa moment completely justifies the character development that both Mori and Mira need to have. They need that's vital before they get to the point where you know giant god hands are smashing stuff and whatever. <laughs> the anime robs those characters of that moment. So by the time we get to that moment. Again, I, I have, I'm that much less interested in these yeah. characters, and I they they feel or I feel like those characters have been cheated of that much more. Yeah. Because by all accounts, there's really no reason other than him being the main character why Mori should have won those fights. Yeah. He, from my account, he looked pretty like underwhelmed. I mean, like you know, he had Zenkai boost to fuck with his giant god hand, you know, swatting uh, Ilpayo down. But like, it it just. The stuff like that doesn't make sense to me because again, if you're reworking like the way a character says something to convey the same point, that's all fine. But when you completely like rework the way the story, like and and like the themes in the story happen and, and the way characters like have their development, yeah, and like for the <laughs> in in the worst option, like I don't, I'm like, what do you, what, how does that make sense? Yeah, I think some of it too is that you know, I'm, again, I'm trying to put myself in in his shoes and. It's kind of, it's, you got to think about it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for someone to come up to you and be like, Hey, this work that you put like your heart and soul into or whatever. And like this, you know, this uh, book that you've made, this comic, whatever, this script, if it's a movie, like we, we want to animate this, you know, like we're crunchy roll, you know, like we want to do this or just anything for that matter. Like, do you want to do that? And it's like, I guess, again, it's kind of like hard to say no. <laughs> right. In that scenario. Cause it's like, this is a dream, right? Like if you yeah, had done, you've done that. And like, so just the fact that it was animated for starters. And then I guess like once you're in it and it's like, it takes, it takes a lot of courage and pride. Not to say that, you know, like, and there was any lack of it because if he genuinely liked it, then he genuinely liked it. But let's just like, if there was a scenario where a creator really is not vibing with like how this is going and like, maybe said creator like isn't all that wealthy on the side. Like they do this on their thing and like they just want their, their like their thing to be out there and like this is their chance to do it. 
like you, it takes a lot of courage for them to be like scrap the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like scrap the whole thing. I don't want to, you know, like get it out. I don't want to do it for them just to be like, okay, I can roll with some of these changes and like the overall premise. And like, again, I think some of it is that he, because he knows what happens being that he created it. Some of those like expedited moments might not be as jarring to him because it's like, I know, and like kind of hard to put yourself in the head of a viewer or a reader. So I think there's like a mix of all that where it's like, it's hard when you're there and it's like, this is staring you in the face to, you know what I mean? Be yeah. like, all like, right, at the end of the day, it, we're know? dealing with like real people here. Yeah. And like, so I, I, get, I know not everybody is going to be able to see, I guess that moment or that opportunity and be like, well, as long as the integrity of the story stays put in, you know, juxtaposed to like, fuck, this could like make my, my thing like big, this could, you know, this could really, you know, uh, you know, launch my, th this series like into the sort of the mainstream. Um, but man, I wish that wasn't like, like, I wish he didn't have that. It, I, you know, and again, I don't know what his mindset it actually is, but if that was sort of the mindset, it's like, it's just, I guess like, it's a shame. Cause it's like, again, I haven't read the manhwa, but I truly do believe that there's something in the manhwa like worth people's time. And I feel like the anime completely missed it. Whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. So let's get into some like actual things about the episode. So number one, the fact that Mori is not borrowing power from a God. He is a God. Yeah, literally fucking ripped off Avatar the last time. but. <laughs> I was, my I, I was thinking Yu-Gi-Oh, personally. I, 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 like, I got oh, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Bro, his vibes. eyes turned blue. Avatar. God, <laughs> fucking, fucking memories wiped at the end of it. Doesn't remember. Avatar. Fucking, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a transcendent Avatar. guy from the through. Uh, dude, this is literally Avatar when he was, like, before a kid. That is the rebirth of the <laughs> next like, Avatar. Gavin's like, actually ass. Gavin's playing Gears of War, and he's like, God, dude, is, is this just me, or is this just a complete ripoff of Viva Pinata? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> this is basically what it is. <laughs> Viva Pinata. Yeah. I, all I know is there was a moment, yeah, where... Um, uh, after Mori does his first god transformation, and um, Jigo says, "Oh, okay, that was cute," and then he just vomits up, you know, whatever the fuck it is, he vomits <laughs> up, you know, some manifestation of all the people he's consumed, or in the darkness and the evil of the key, or whatever the fuck. And uh, you know, Mori is like, "Well, fuck, we had to fight this thing," and then Hilpayo is like, "No, we'll fight this thing." <laughs> together and they dead ass lock arms and legs and shit and just walk at this thing for two solid seconds and i'm like why is this in here yeah, dude, they, pulled the some, they pulled some they pulled some fucking wonder pet shit that should have yeah, been the music like, instead of that is, trash i've ass seen like, this in Yu-Gi-Oh. like why is it here the yeah power of yeah that you yeah. that was seriously like Yugi vibes where it was like Yu -Gi -Oh! and then he like literally becomes the guy which i i also find ironic because again this is kind of against Mori's own choice here but or uh Mori Jin's choice here but it's ironic that in the beginning of the show he's like Pfft, who needs to borrow power? Like, rely on your own. And not only, well, he doesn't borrow the power. The god's just like, I'll do it. You know what I mean? And just like, Mori goes, you know, and then the god beats his yeah, ass. And I can already see, I can already see the cop out of people where it's like, well, he's not borrowing the power. Like, it is his own power because yeah, he's yeah, god. Yeah. But it's like, nigga, we're kind of splitting hairs. <laughs> if I'm being honest, like, because if Mori, if Mori blanks out. And then, yeah. you know, the god Mori whoops some dude's ass, and then yeah. Mori wakes up. Was that Mori? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like kind of not, you know? The bear shits in the it's, woods. Maybe you know? it's not it's the like, same yeah. exact thing yeah, as borrowing like, power. No, because that is actually Mori in his yeah, past yeah, yeah. life coming through but his own body. If his in own consciousness life. isn't actually in it. Like, if he can't remember anything, like, if what are you if not your memory? He's I Avatar. Don't know. That's what he is. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. Yeah, I was like, Avatar did it better. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just found that ironic. That was. That no, was definitely weird. Like, and then, like, the song choice was kind of weird. That song choice was butt cheeks. Right. <laughs> I, I'm not going like, to lie. I've been, like, trying this whole episode, I will say, to, like, give <laughs> give defenses. This is to what the, you're going to go at? Yeah, this is what I'm going to go at. I'm not going to lie. Because I anyone who's watching and has a head on their shoulders knows right now that I've been, like, trying to give counter arguments. I've tried to put myself in their shoes, and I've tried to give defense to, like, the show, this episode in particular. Yeah, yeah. No, no, production. come over here to the shit inside. I'm getting it. But, bro, that song was straight cheeks, bro. I was like, dude. Dude, are you kidding me? Like when they did that, they, one thing I love about the show is I personally love the soundtrack. Oh, I yeah. think the yeah. like cool, that's undeniable dance music, like techno beat, whatever you want to call it. Things go with the fights beautifully. I think that's what makes some of the fights. And I think that if there's one thing that really puts us a, a leg above the Manwa in that respect, that's one of those things. Right. Um, but <laughs> it's like at the literal climactic battle, like this is the the thing the moment everyone's gonna be like their friendships together gonna do it 
it was just so out of place for me. I yeah. was like, dude. And it was like, I got, I get where they were coming from because it was like the more like sentimental. It's like, we're working together. You know what I mean? And it's like, nah, yeah, I feel like, you know well, what, you what, know what it was? was like, I feel oh like they were going God. for like my hero. You know, the moment when Deku hits a hundred percent and that fucking like orchestral yes. shit plays. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, but that shit popped. Yeah. And it was because like the, 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 like the, the theme of the song, I feel like just meshed with like, the sort of like ridiculous, like thunderous, explosive moment that that was supposed to be mm-hmm. for Deku, and so yeah. you're like, oh, what the fuck? And it like gets all quiet and shit. This was kind of like again in more aligned with like the ED of the show. It was like this very poppy song where it's like, let's go, let's play, and it's like, guys, fucking, I'm trying to just. Wa- can we get like? I'm just trying to. <laughs> it's not, I actually don't mind the song by itself, but I no, it definitely no, yeah. did not. It just did not fit, fit yeah. this moment fit. like at all. And the it's time, like, the timing was perfect the time, yeah. because literally Ian was like. <laughs> Because in the prior fight, the song was a banger. And Ian yeah. in the live reaction was like, yo, this soundtrack is, like, it's awesome. And then literally not even two minutes later, that came on. And he's like, this song is trash. And I'm like, there you go. <laughs> Immediately doubling back well, on that's what the you thing, just said. The, yeah, the, the song that they played in, like, the first fight with when Maury was going at oh, uh, yeah. Jiggle was fire. Yeah. Where it was like, you know, he hits him with the staff and it's like, doo, doo, and you're like, oh, fuck, like, shit's about to pop off. It's like, but that starts and stops before we ever really get anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And then by the time that's done, it's like, that's what sort of this, the fight in this episode felt like to me. It was like a lot of highs and lows where mm-hmm. like shit would start to kick up, but like just as quickly as it kicked up, it would drop, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. more he loses his power or like somebody gets, you know, slapped, blasted and what the <laughs> fuck. Slap blasted. And it's literally <laughs> fucking Jiggle, dude. He's like flying around, zap blasting niggas with his fucking yellow laser beams. He's like, I, I am you, God I and shit. I need you to find the clip in Baki where the dude gets slapped with a grenade and just put that <laughs> over when we say, say slap blasted. Like that's what I want. Just be like, psh, and just a gif of that where the guy just blows his face up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that's god. That's a new term. No, it makes sense. It was just funny. Like some of these transformations get pulled out of nowhere. I did I really liked when um Mori uh or the god of him uh fights the greed things that come up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I mean? Like that whole oh, sequence when he's is like really sick sticking the poles and yeah, things. Yeah, he like exploding. spears them through. Yeah, like yeah, that, that was, was really sick. That was dope. That was cool. And then um so after that whole shebang we get to towards the the end, I guess, or the latter half of the episode when the fight's over officially, and we get uh the one chick on Jiggle's team who just happens to get lost in a cave. Like, I was like, okay. (laughs) I'm wondering in the Manwa how they're going to do that because in the Manwa, as far as we've gotten so far, sometimes he's literally like, yeah, I had no reason for this. It was just to like further the plot. And it's like, at least you're being honest. I'm curious if we get to there, A, if it pans out the same way, and B, if it does, if he's going to give us an excuse because that is an excuse worthy panel right there. So here's my thing. For me, that moment fell so hard on his face because – it was clearly a moment that was trying to be like, and time for jokes, like comedy go. But it's like, they're also trying to literally give us plot, like level important, like relevant points to the story. So I'm like watching them do this comedic slapstick shit, but I'm also like, can you guys fucking stop? I'm trying to listen to the plot. I haven't gotten plot for 12 episodes. Like I'm trying to listen to what they're saying. And it's like this conflicting thing of like serious, but funny that yeah. doesn't, that didn't work because I was so lacking of the serious that like when we got to the funny, it's like, I can't even appreciate the jokes or whatever. You know, weird. I feel like the Manwa because it probably has so much better pacing by the time it gets to that moment, you can sort of enjoy those weird funny panels because you already know enough about what's going on to be, you know, invested. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know. It just, it fell flat for me because I, I don't, and by the, again, by terms of the anime, by the time we get to the end, they're like, literally, dude, like the credits are going to roll in the next five minutes and they're like doing this slapstick joke shit. And yeah, like at the yeah, same yeah, time, yeah. it's like, oh, by the way, so the real reason the gods are here and it's like, whoa, 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 hold yeah, on. You, yeah. whatever you're doing on the floor is like, knock it off. Sure, I'm trying to listen yeah. to what the fuck's going yeah, on. Yeah, I did appreciate that they actually, even though it was like, you know, supplemented with that weird comedy, um, like that they actually explained what was going on, at least at that yeah. point. And I feel like going into the next season, if they ever have one or for reading the manhwa and all that kind of stuff, like, if we just had the anime to work with and I knew they were going to animate a second season, I could I could say at that point that I could go into the second season understanding where we're going, why we're going there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, what I'm, the story is now. And it's a shame it took this long to get there. And I guess that was kind of the point of, like, withholding it, at least in their perspective. I think it backfired personally. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm, like, I'm in the loop in terms of, like, okay, I think I finally understand the God thing. Sort of, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'm part of the six. I'm also the progenitor of the human race. I just basically created humanity. Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. All right, you're the progenitor of the six as well. Not to mention also, I now have the question, who the hell is Taijin Jin? Because 
there's no way that man yeah. is just human. He's got to be a god as well Some because god, yeah, bro. because he he beat the six by himself. And okay, at first I was like, that's a pretty impressive feat because these are pretty powerful dudes. This one dude just created Mount Rushmore on the fly and killed a god. That's damn impressive. But not only that, this lady's like, oh, by the way, I created the human race, and he also beat that chick. Yeah. And I'm like, who is this man? Okay, yeah. like he's got to be a god. So. That was interesting as well. And then um, and then they have their, like, you know, they're sort of, like, generic, like, oh, what happened to the key? Oh, don't worry. It split up into seven pieces and flew all around the world. So now oh, the whole next season you guys can collect all seven pieces yep. of the key. And it's like, look, all right, I've watched, like, my fair <laughs> share of Pokemon. I know how this works. I've seen Sonic one too many Dragon times. Dragon Ball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I know how this, this questing shit works. But my thing is, like, so it's very clear that the, um, uh, the cult and um, Park – Mm-hmm. are basically now they're like, well, this whole God thing didn't work. I'm going into politics. And <laughs> yeah, my thing <laughs> is like, why, why dude? He's what like, is what's the- more powerful than God? The president. <laughs> <laughs> Money. I feel like uh-huh. you went backwards. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah, I, and, yeah. But then like the cult dude was doing it too. And I'm like, what is the, like, cause we're out here, Maury and all them, we're going to go find the keys and stuff and like do the God thing. Are y'all just going to forget about that and like go, <laughs> you know, run the, the earth and I, stuff like, or the world? Like, I, I guess there's something to be said for like, maybe, you know, which I kind of consider a stretch in my opinion. It's like, oh, we control the politics. We control the government so we can like find the keys easy. To be fair, actually, I can buy that to be fair, because if I you could have buy it, but it's pretty weak because <laughs> <laughs> cause I just feel like park and all them like they have. They don't need to even waste their time really with that shit, bro. Because like, yeah, Mori is a god, mm. but like, if if they all just roll up in here, at the very least, they could outnumber and overwhelm them sure, and get more yeah, pieces yeah, before yeah. Mori's gang does. I don't know. I just feel like it's a weird place. Maybe it's because of how little I still understand about the story, but it feels like it's such a weird place to be like. And this is where we're ending. Yeah. yeah um. But yeah. again, I'm sure the mono explains it much better. Also, blonde guy called that that dude was the traitor from the start because oh, yeah. he never opened his eyes. And anyone who just never opens their eyes. True. Is, is suspect right mm-hmm. off the rip. Except you know? for Brock. That man is gold. Yes. He's out here Brock. doing the Lord's work. <laughs> He's a man of culture. Yeah. And I will not let anyone spin on that name. Yes. But anyone else is not exempt from that. And you are mad to us and we're calling an emergency meeting because yeah, uh, we, we called that from the beginning. So even though we never said it once, but I knew. You're an imposter dog. Yes. We knew in our mind's eye. Eh. But anyway, so that was interesting. And then also now, you know, we're going to go. We're going to find the god's home who lives in mountainous place True. with oh, a hut Sun Wukong's top. homeland. Yeah, so that's interesting and like how the progenitor lady knows that god and apparently he's a goofball, I guess just kind of like Mori and it's like okay, well is Mori just like a vessel for the god, you know what I mean? Like is more like was it really the god was the character the whole time and like Mori is like I think an it's like a little re, uh, a little like reincarnation type Yeah, beat. yeah, something like that where he's like okay, I can inhabit this body and so like you know, whatever, when I'm in a sleep mode, like, Maury does his thing. I don't know. And then, at the end, obviously, the big thing now um, is that Taijin Jin is going to be used as the next god that Against they're just going to create yeah. on the fly because they're like, ah, we got another one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we'll just do that. So that's pretty intense. And also might be a kick in the balls to Maury when he had that one chance for a wish. And he's like, I wish for my grandpa back. And he's like, never mind. Give these people their limbs back. And it's like, well, now countless other people are going to die and more limbs are going to be lost because your grandfather's probably going to slaughter half the known planet because we've already seen how powerful this dude is. So, like, I don't know. Maybe the grandfather back what might have been the correct wish. I but- also kind of for a moment, like, was weirdly vibing with Maury when that wish thing came up because for a second, for just a second, I thought they were going to surprise me and have him do, like, a weirdly selfish thing. Yeah, yeah. Where, like, half the niggas behind him are missing limbs, and, and he's like, <laughs> now I can give you guys whatever you want. And he's like, Grandpa, bring him back right now. <laughs> like, he jumped at that shit in a beat, and I was like, oh, you, you don't want to, like, button. you don't want to, like, hit the meeting and talk with your homies first? <laughs> like, half of them are missing limbs. Like, I don't know. And then, like, they cop it out, of course. They're like, no, actually, I can't do that. Wish for something else. And it's like, oh, all right, then give everybody their arms sure. back, whatever. Yeah, but it was, he, I was, he failed. He should have wished for more wishes. <laughs> <laughs> that was right. What a fool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for real. What an idiot, right? <laughs> That's obviously the truth. Yeah, because she literally said, I could do anything except raise her from the dead. Yep. You know I would have been out there with a pen and be like, can I have that in writing real quick? And she would have been like, here you go. And I'm like, okay, I wish for unlimited wishes. Bam, you got to fulfill it now. <laughs> Done deal. No, oh, I mean, yeah, that was ironic now that his grandfather's probably going to kill many innocent people. people. Or and maybe uh, not, dude. I don't know, man. This show's got a weird thing where it's like somebody gets their head chopped off and it's like, oh, it's like, no, nah, they're fine. Though. <laughs> so maybe he'll like kill them, but like they won't be dead. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? And I guess that one member of the six has actually bit it. The old guy, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. funny because Maury's there and he's like, 
<laughs> and he does that like that smile, you know, just like, oh, he's not dead. And he's like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> Never mind. And I guess the grandson's dead. That whole lineage just got wiped out. <laughs> so that was interesting. But um, yeah, I don't know. Here we go. That's it, man. This That's is all it. they gave us. This is where we go from here. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Stay tuned, by the way, for any of you uh, that still made it here after us um, totally bashing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, for anyone that is interested, obviously, in hearing our thoughts and opinions on The God of High School, like we've mentioned a couple times in this episode, we have officially started reading the manhwa. That doesn't mean that we're blasting through it by a weekly thing. It's going to be, you know, when we might down the line, I don't know, see where life takes us. But we've read the first 19 chapters of the manhwa. And as we've said in comparing it to what we know, we do enjoy the manhwa so far um, and definitely are not this harsh at all on it because it, it's sure. good. It's very good so far. So, um you know, hopefully we can continue with that. And if you guys wanted to get our thoughts and opinions on it or just get more out of high school content, you could tune in to some of our live mm -hmm. streams where we will be discussing and reading it. So that's Absolutely. another way for us to live on. Also, for anyone watching this now, keep in mind that we have been recording our reactions to this the entire time. I know we've been in this copyright strike debacle for the past two months. We got like another month before one even gets lifted. So reaction videos are out right now, but we've been recording all those. We never had a problem with the first seven episodes that we put up. Um, we just don't want to do it out of the too big of a risk thing right now. God forbid Crunchyroll or whoever just feels like snap of their fingers, be like, eh, this one, you know, and then we're screwed. Um, but yeah, once we get those lifted, we plan on releasing those uh, weekly or whatever again so you guys can see our, our reactions to the show to its season's <laughs> completion yeah. as well. So, you know, for, for everyone who was wondering, stay tuned for that. More God of High School content to come. Anyway, folks. Those are our thoughts on the finale of The God of High School Season 1. Again, let us know what your thoughts were in those comments down below. What did you think of this episode? What did you think of our discussion? And what were your thoughts on The God of High School series, anime specifically, as a whole? Um, but until next time, folks, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. And we'll catch you on the flip. Smash like. Later. Peace. <laughs>